folks welcome to my channel uh, used to be dogman homestead we dropped the homestead everybody and their brothers got a homestead on the on their channel and there's just too many of them and I didn't want to just limit myself to homesteading videos so we just dropped the homestead but I'm still dogman so what we're going to do today is it's it's just been too hot to be outside I have not done a thing on the build since the last video and which has been almost two weeks uh, my body don't like working in 103 degrees 104 degrees and that's what it's been and that's what it's going to be from the, for the next two weeks at least uh, from what I see in the forecast man it's just horrible can't take it no more so we're going to do a little cooking video but before I do that I'm going to take these tomatoes from my garden we're going to drop them in some boiling water skin them slice them up and I'm gonna put them in Ziploc bags and freeze them for my chilies and anything I want to cook with uh, I also got some green peppers I'm gonna use these on what I'm gonna cook in this video and it doesn't have a name because I haven't invented it yet we're just gonna invent it as we go but it's gonna involve chicken so uh, it's about all I got the garden's been really slow because of the heat um, and having to water twice a day to just keep it keep it going but as you know as far as new blossoms you know I think next year maybe I'm gonna have to have some sort of a a dome over it with shade shade cloth because it's just getting too hot and I don't expect the summers are going to get any cooler and it's it's something I've dealt with ever since I've you know had a garden here so anyway let's get rolling on this all right all we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tomatoes I'm not gonna core them I, I did I did core this one we'll see what the difference is but you, you don't have to and we're just gonna take and slice an X in the bottom I ain't washing these because they're going down in the I don't need one that big I guess they're going down in the boiling water so that will clean them X marks the spot keep them up front so I know they're done I've got a mixture of different varieties here. I've got Romas, I've got Arkansas Travelers, I've got the Black Prince. That's these funny looking colored ones. Uh, can't see if I did it. Nope. Well, that's a nice bright red one there yeah I think you don't really want to core them because then all the juices will leak out and we can do that after they come out all right I got my water boil starting on a boil now I don't think it's quite ready Now a lot of these I pulled when they were green, like these bigger ones, because they're not ripening out there right now. It's just too hot. Uh, you know, like I said before, they have to get to a certain temperature at night in the low 70s before they really ripen good, and we're not getting that. And it's just really hot. But tomatoes you can do that with. Uh, peppers. They're doing okay. I noticed they're not as big as they were, you know, but I'm getting a lot of them. So that's pretty good. There's one of my cayenne peppers. And I got some okra. These peppers I should have did something with before. We'll salvage them. Peppers I basically just put in a baggie and seal them up. And then when I need them, I'll pull them out as I need them. So let's go check on this water. Not yet. We need to get a good rolling boil. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, the water is boiling. And what we're going to do is drop them down in the pot gently. As many as we can get in there. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna boil them for some some people do them for 30 seconds, some people do them for a minute. I'll tell you what, we're gonna do them about 45 seconds. Get that big dude in there. Get in there, big dude. I'm just gonna cover it for a second. I'm counting on in my mind. And that there's a scary thing. Let me get one of these holy bowls. That there's a holy bowl, folks. See, it's got holes in it. It's a bowl, but it's holy. All right, I'd say that's pretty close to about a minute. I'm looking at my timer on my GoPro. All right. We're gonna fish them on out of there. In the holy, put them in the holy bowl. You like that? Ain't no holy bowl. That's called a colander. Yep. You can call it what you want. I like calling it a holy bowl. All right. Now, as soon as they come out, we're gonna put it in an ice bath. Yeah, shock them. Shock a con. 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 I couldn't resist. All right. They're going to sit in there for five minutes. So let's get the rest of these maters in there. I'm going to live on the edge and just plop them in there. <laughs> Look at that little tomato. It didn't have a chance. But I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit anyway. Alright, one minute. And what I did in the meantime, well before, I took my Ziploc and I wrote the date on there, 7-11-22. And I did what I should have did last year, I wrote peeled. Because uh, I do, sometimes I freeze them without peeling them. Uh, they're not good in my chili that way because then the skin kind of separate and they just, feels weird in your teeth, man. And you don't want stuff to feel weird in your teeth. See how they're shriveling up there? I don't know a lot of you know how to do this. Uh, I've been doing it a couple of years. But there's people that don't know. So don't ruin it for them, alright? Don't ruin it for them. Let me show them. Okay, we're almost to about a minute. Now what do I do? I'm going to have to fit them other ones in there. Alright. That's all we need this boiling water for. Holy bowl, put them in the holy bowl. Usually I wait until I got a good number of tomatoes to do, but like I said, they're just not they're just not coming out like they usually do. Okay, we can just like get them all out at the same time, it ain't gonna matter that much. I'll let them sit and I'll come back when it's time to peel them. Alright, it's been about five minutes, so let's see what we got. Take this dude up, look at there, and you just peel it off. And I'll just give these peels to the uh, chickens. Nothing goes to waste. I think if I cord it first, it probably peel better. Let's see. Man, well, sometimes you gotta gotta work at it a little bit, but for the most part, you got that pesky old peel. And I'm not gonna deceive these. Uh, there's a way to do that too. And I never really had a need for that. All right, let's go ahead and core this one first. I don't remember how I did it last year, but I will quickly, quickly remember. You know, that works out better if you go ahead and core it. Kind of nasty feeling little things and pills, yeah. 
And if I leave a little bit on, I ain't going to fret it. If you start fretting things in life, well, <laughs> you're, you know, you're in trouble. And the Romas are, seem to be a little tougher to peel. Eh, not really. I could think of like 8,000 million other things I'd rather be doing right now, but man, it's got to get done, you know. Alright, let's speed this process up a little bit. All right, we got them all peeled. And the ones that were hard, the smaller ones, I just popped them in my mouth and ate them. <laughs> so now we're just going to dice them up. I'm not going to get too fancy on this. Just going to slice them in pretty good sized pieces like that. Rooster, what are you doing? I'm going to have to get Rooster glasses because she's been barking at stuff. That isn't there. And I'm I'm gonna not I'm just gonna put a variety in the package. You know, this is a black prince. These things uh peel real easy. As you can see, they're a different color. They are ripe. Here's another one. Very, very juicy. And I'm not gonna go through the whole pile because we're fixing to start cooking. Rooster, there's nothing out there. Don't interrupt my movie. And I'm just gonna put them in here. These will be great for stew or tomato or chili or whatever I wanna do. And I just squeeze the ends to about the middle. I got a food saver I gotta order bags for that drew on me. And I just Suck the air out of them like that. Almost vacuum sealed. And there we have it. All right, guys, let's let me get this done. Come back and we'll do some cooking. We'll get this mess cleaned up. All right, everybody, we are back in the kitchen and we're gonna make a concoction. This is something I'm just making up as I go along because it's fun to do those kind of things. I swear to you, I've never made this before. But we're gonna make it now. I've got my electric skillet warming up because it's too hot to start up the stove or toaster oven or any of that. So I like this is a perfect dish for this, even though I don't know what the dish is gonna be. I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be like a cross between some sort of fiesta chicken and an Italian chicken with a bit of barbecue. I don't know. Alright, that dude's ready for chicken. I've got some of that leftover brisket rub. Yeah, let's try it out. Got my chicken all washed up in here. These are chicken thighs. I'm just going to put that in there. Peter getting coated. Look at that. Now I've got olive oil in the pan. All right. Look at that dude. Oh, that's pretty. It's going to be a red dish. I'm going to get these dudes browned up. I don't care who you are, you can't go wrong with spices. Why waste them? Look at that, man, that's just a beautiful piece of looking chicken. Get on in there, get in there with your brother. Yes, sir. And then, you know, whatever's left of this brisket rub, I'll just pour it back into the bottle. That way we don't waste nothing, right? <laughs> There's some of you that. There's some of you going, I know he ain't going to do that. Oh, get in there, my party. Ooh. Chicken. 
and I'm not a big chicken fan. So that's probably why I doctor the heck out of it. Ooh. It's redder on one side, that's all right. There's no rules to this recipe, you know why? Because it never existed before today. Let's see if I can cook it out smoking the place up again. Get her in there. There's a little bitty pig right there. Get in there. Get in there. Alright. Well, got a naked spot. Ow. Where'd you go, little piece? There you are. You look like a little piece I can't fish, but I don't care. Huh. Lift that brown a little bit. Let me seal this up and chuck it. Right, give her a flip. I'll tell you what. If it tastes like it smells, it's going to be good. We'll brown it on that side for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add these onions. About a half of a large onion. And I've got these bell peppers from my garden. Uh, the red ones are the Mexa bells. You can go ahead and add that in there. You like it's too, it's too dry. After I add this can of beef broth. Ooh. I'm sucking in the smell. All right. Pepper corn medley. Alright, <laughs> we got a medley here. We're gonna pick the corn that dude up. Not the best thing to have when you got carpal tunnel syndrome, but the pepper is much better. Alright, enough of that nonsense. Basil! Put a little bit of basil in there. Just give it that Italian. Oregano, a little of that, just to give it that Italian taste. And then some chili powder, give it that, whoop, give it that Mexican taste. Wait a minute, you know what I'm missing? I must have. That's right, paprika. There it is, I got about 800 pounds of paprika. Thanks to a subscriber. All right, and as always, you get us, uh, Yes, a spoon. We're going to add some minced garlic. Not that much. Alright. Just shimmy all that in there. Shimmy it in. Shimmy bop. Shimmy bop. That's about 90% of what's going in there, but we're not done. So we're just going to leave that up at about 375 for probably another 20 minutes. And that gives me time to think of what else to go in it. Huh? We'll be back. All right. Give it a stir. I gotta say, it smells Mexican-y. There's one thing I gotta add here. Oh, to. Yes, I just diced all my own tomatoes, but I've got this in the cupboard. Get rid of it. Do some. No matter. What I want to do is stick in this sauce. We're going to let it cook a little bit. I'm going to add some tomato paste. It's going to have like a red gravy with it. Them beans. Now, let me get one of them spatulas. I'm 
this will thicken her up good. Remember folks, I have never made this. I'm inventing it right as we go. I don't want to add too much more. Chop that in there, it'll thicken up itself. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it smells awesome. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna turn this down a shade, let her simmer. Alright, it's time to fix a plate. I've got my plate here, what I'm going to get. I've made myself some rice. I'm put some of that right there on the plate. Don't be shy. And then, I'm going to come on over here. Oh, look at that stuff. And I've already snitched a taste, and let me tell you, mm, it is good, man. We're gonna lay that right there. Look at that. We'll take some of that red gravy. Look at that. So it'll sop up in that rice. Put a little over that piece of chicken. Then I'm gonna take some spinach. I ain't had no spinach in a long time. You know that's what Popeye eats and makes him strong. Mm. So there we have it folks. Tasty, tasty, tasty. And as always, I'm gonna wash it down with ice cold milk, swigged right out of the daggum jug, cause why waste a perfectly clean glass? Happy trails. What are you doing? Yeah, you're just sitting there. You got one of your new toys that a subscriber sent, uh, an anonymous subscriber. Yeah, sent two big boxes of milk bones, all kinds of toys. And I'll tell you what, Waldo's got a toy that he loves. Just a ball on a rope. We got tennis balls. Yeah, Rooster got all kinds of toys. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll get back on that build soon, and we'll get some more work done. In the meantime, I got to use my imagination. All right, happy trails.